Sankalpa is the word used to visualize. Right? Sankalpa is not a holy affair. It's a practical affair. It is the human being who has this rare quality of Sankalpa. Animals are very intelligent, but they cannot imagine. They cannot visualize. And it is visualization that is the most important thing because what you visualize, that you become. Human being, or if you want to build a house, what do you do first? You visualize the house. I'm not talking about yogi uh, manifesting a building and all that. I'm saying, normally, what do you do? You visualize a plan, you have an idea, then the architect comes, then you, and then it becomes a reality. So where did it start from? Sankalpa. So sankalpa is not a bad word, it's a good thing. It is. It is a projection. Yeah, it is a projection. So accept it as a projection, don't consider it as holy. You know what I mean? And sometimes it is required also. Without sankalpa, it is difficult for the mind to gather itself together. So you need a sankalpa. That you, there are people who can do without it also. I'm not saying you need it that way. Sankalpa is not a bad word. Imagination is not a bad word. Imagination is a... It's when imagination becomes uncontrolled that you are taken to a hospital. Ah, so Sankalpa is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, what happens is, People get too dependent only on that. While it is a useful tool, you shouldn't be totally dependent on it. You should understand its place, where it stands, and use it to your advantage. Suppose I want to visualize. Uh, let's say I want to visualize uh, Narayana. Suppose. In the beginning, it's only a sankalpa, right? The problem is when then I say that yesterday morning Narayana came and told me to cut off all the trees, then you are in trouble. As long as it is in your control, it is okay. When it gets out of your control, then your imagination is overworked. So, the essence of yoga is everything is here. Nothing is outside. This world is you. See, we say this world. What is this world? Collection of individuals, right? What else? It's not the skyscrapers. It's, it's not the buses and the planes. When you say the world, it means human beings, right? So it's a collective projection of human beings. Now, therefore, each individual has a responsibility to change. If I change, I can change the world. I cannot remain the same and then say, I want to change. It doesn't work. 